Grace and peace to you, beloved. Amy Wilson Feltz here. I am the pastor of St. Paul's United Methodist Church in El Paso, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me for coffee with Pastor Amy on this Wednesday morning. I have a sweet story to share with you during our time together. Our daughters, Natalie and Olivia, share a bedroom. Natalie is six, Olivia is 16 months, and this arrangement is taking place in part because Natalie sleeps better when someone else is in the room. So when the baby began sleeping in Natalie's room, we told Natalie, it's not your responsibility to care for the baby. You can always wake daddy or me up if you need some help. Well, last week, Natalie did come to me in the middle of the night. She was so sleepy. Her hair was wild. Her eyes were tired. And she said, Mama, the baby woke up. I sang her back to sleep. Now can you tuck me back in? I was just so touched by that moment. And I told her, Natalie, you could have come to me. I would have helped you soothe the baby. That's not your responsibility. And she said, I know, but I just didn't want the baby to be scared or sad when I left the room. It was just so beautiful. And I appreciate a couple of things about this interaction. One, of course, I'm very grateful that Natalie would be filled with compassion and empathy and choose to stay with her sister to sit with her sister and offer comfort until the baby was able to go back to sleep. It's a beautiful scene, and it warms my heart as their mother. But also, I'm really grateful and proud of Natalie for being able to know what she needed as well. She cared for her sister, and then she knew what she needed to go back to sleep, and she asked for help so that she could be comforted in her own self, in her own body, in her own mind, in her own soul. It reminded me of a couple of different things in our holy text. The first thing that came to mind was a story in Exodus when Moses is working with the people and he is tired. He's doing what he can to support them and to help navigate conflict and and just be a leader. And his father-in-law comes to him and says, this is too much for you. You can't do it by yourself. You need help. And so Moses creates a team of people to help him with the needs of the community. It's a it's an important reminder that we are created to work together. The other thing that came to mind was the famous passage where Jesus talks about the most important commandment. And he says, The most important thing we can do is to love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. We talk a lot about what it means to love God and to love our neighbors, and we should. That's really important. Loving God is the basis of, of everything in life. It's how we learn to navigate all of our situations. God loves us. We love God, and everything flows out of that. Certainly, our love of neighbor is really important for the health of the community, but we often skip over the love yourself part. Love your neighbor as yourself. We have important worth. We are created in the image of God. God loves us and wants us to be healthy in everything that we do. I was reminded of that when Natalie knew that she needed help to care for herself. And so I hope Wherever you are right now, whatever you find yourself doing, whatever your situation, that you are taking time to care for yourself and to ask for help when you need it. It's really important for the health of the community. You are of sacred worth. God loves you. The Holy Spirit lives and dwells in you, delights in you. Christ is walking with you as we walk in the ways that Jesus walked when he was on this earth. You are not alone. You are not created to do any of this alone. Please build teams around yourself to help you navigate life's challenges, life's everyday situations, and the the bigger challenges that come your way. 
If you have anything that you are working with right now and you need some advice or uh, you would like some encouragement, please feel free to contact me. I will share my email address below and I would be happy to pray with you, to brainstorm with you, and to work with you for whatever task that God has given you in the beautiful kingdom. Please know that I do pray for you. I ask that you would pray for me and for my family as well. It is a joy to be on this journey together. I look forward to being with you again next week. Grace and peace.